Hello all. I hope everybody's doing well. I thought I would do a, a sketchbook tour. I have been working the last month or so trying to make some changes in things, if, changes in how I view things so I can do my artwork much looser, much, much more how I've been wanting them. I'm trying to see if I have any in here that's, I'm sure I do. But I'm not having the success that I wish I did. I, well, let's just start with this one. I've been using um, acrylic in, partially in the act of trying to use up what I have first. But, oh, that's a little too soon. But I jumped in, and this is, and, and this is terrible. This is, this is terrible. But I'm going to show it because we're being honest with each other, right? This is where I started. Her eyes, I mean, just, just her eyes alone. It, and it's nowhere loose. It's not very loose at all. And it, it's just not good, not good. So I thought maybe to get things going, I needed to just do something in a curl, in a charcoal. So I did this on the 25th of July. So that's how long ago I started this. And again, I'm not happy with it. It's, it's the same old, same old that I've been doing. So then I did, I don't know if you can see that very well. It's just some loose little sketches of a plant I bought. Interesting enough, I went to Walmart to get some fresh flowers and I couldn't find them. But I went to the plant department, the gardening center, and they had this one plant that was very sad looking but it was on clearance for $2 and it had some blooms on it. So I bought it. I wound up getting my $2 worth many times over. But um, I kind of like some of these marks on here. It's a start. But then I did this and this was this iris thingy. Um, but I like how these like there were these little purple roses that just were not open entirely. I did finally get some flowers from um, Walmart and it was uh, on pickup and I think they were on their last day because this one was, it was looking sad. And then this is, I'm just not, yeah. So I tried using some brighter colors and just basic little brush strokes. Same, same. This, I, there were, there's things about it that I like. Like some of this brushwork in here is really thick and textural and just um, loose and the same thing in some of these and I like the I like the colors in here I wish this was just a little bit lighter maybe I had gotten it more like a wash like I've got back here but um, again some of those see I'm torn I'm very torn because to me this looks like something one of my grandkids could do but at the same time, it's very loose and very, it has this texture to it. Uh, I tried to do the portrait again. I like this one better. Same person. Oops. So see, I went from there, from that to that. I like this much better. And this was on the 26th of August. In 
then this has gessoed pages in there waiting for me to get ready. The sketchbooks are not in order because I had to, I had to rotate them. This was not one of them. I had to rotate them because of the gesso. Okay, this was like one of the very first ones I did. I didn't even date it and I should have. But this was, this is acrylic. This was one of the first ones I did. I was trying to get those same lines that I had in that drawing, which I was somewhat successful. And I did it with um, ink, with a pen. And because I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere, like I wanted to, I did a couple of studies of Sandy, Sandy Hester's work. Uh, she has nice loose brush work. Uh, hers is not exactly how I want to do things, but it's at least aiming toward the right direction. But, so this is, I kind of like that. And again, this is another study of her work. And I did this in acrylic. There's the, these edges along here, I don't care for. But anyway, there's things about it I like, the painterly quality. And then we get back to the plants. That was kind of like a carnation type flower. It's interesting if I take out just it. The rest of it, I, I don't know. This was, I was not happy with. This was done on the 9th of August. Um, it's the backside of a rose that was dying and starting to sag. It's not loose enough for my... This one was a study I did off of someone's picture on Instagram. <clears throat> and it was Jay's World underscore art bookshop on Instagram. And I did this on the 10th of August. I'm not associated with that person. I was just flipping through things and saw it and, and really liked the loose painterly quality of the peony that he had there. I, I assume it's a he. It could be a she. And this is one that I did on the 18th of August. And although it's very simple, I like it. It's just very, and it's that plant I got for $2. Some flowers that were hanging on it. And I'm just playing around. While I was doing these two sketchbooks, I had started on using this, it's a, a watercolor paper. Um, cold press. It doesn't have a lot of texture, but it has a little bit. And this is just me playing with some watercolors, trying to get, trying to get used to using them, just playing around. And then I did some swatches. This one I like. <coughs> Pardon me. But I don't see. I like it. I like it when I did it. I put it that way. And now looking back on it, because a lot of these I have not looked back on until today. So we're going through these together. This was on August the 4th. And there are things about this I like, but I think it would make a nice reproduction. Some And there's lots of nice painterly qualities in here I managed to get. But I may make this one a reproduction. But then I don't know what happened. I tried to get some lines and things on my work. And yeah, this just is not working. It's, no. And this one, I really like this one. I don't, I think you have to have a, an acquired taste for it. Uh, this was on August the 8th. But it just, the colors together and some of the brushwork, like how the shadow just shows up in there nicely. But it's very expressive. If I had to choose between which one I like better, this one 
or this one, I would choose this one. And I can see redoing this one on a canvas and making this a, a heavier, heavier red, deep red. This may wind up being a reproduction also. Then I went back to faces. Um, this one I did on the 16th. Sorry, I'm not showing these in order because of the, I was using two sketchbooks and I know I probably already said this, but I was, one would be wet with paint. So I'd gesso the other one or I'd gesso a page after it and I would just rotate them. So that's why they were all different dates. Um, this is the 16th. There are things about it that I like. This was off a, a blurry reference photo of a grandchild. Um, 17th, another reference photo. This is Mr. Poncho. If you ignore this green part that was on here, it, it's very, it has nice brushwork, I think. It has some, it has some, positives to it. This one, I did just a quick tree study. This was in, this was on the 18th. But I like this one. You see how loose it is? And just how you can see the paint strokes. So this one, this one I, I like. Again, it may be let me pull out the ones I like. There we go. This one I don't care for. It looks too, uh, for lack of better vocabulary, it looks too frou-frou. I did this on the 21st. And I just... And when I say I don't care for it, it's, I mean, overall, it may have like certain aspects of it that draw me to it, like this inside, um, in here, the, the colors that I chose work well. Um, another one I did off of a reference photo, I did not keep this one very loose. This was on the 21st of August. I do like how you can kind of see the layers building up. But the colors are very predictable as far as like skin tones. And it's not as loose as I would like, but it's, it has its, see like right in here. I like that. How that, the layers on top of each other, the transparency of the acrylic. Then there was this one. This was the one that definitely reminded me of something that maybe my grandkids could do, but I know that it took more effort than that. This I did on the 23rd. And if you look at like, like this flower, it just looks very happy. The thing that I am finding, and I have heard other people say this too, is when you do really detailed work, your shoulders get cramped up, you get, I get focused in on there on little details. I'm holding the pencil at the end, you know, it's not, it's like, or pen or paintbrush or whatever it is I'm using, I'm holding it very and worrying about details instead of coming back here and using the end of it. This, I use the end of it and it's very expressive and the use of color. I wish maybe there were some more depth in here and the, this blue was darker. So if I were to do this one again, I would make that blue darker. I put that with one, one of my better ones I like. Uh, this one was done on the 26th. Just a real quick study. Again, it's very loose. Has its, has its, has its, yeah. 
this is one I did off of a reference photo, and to me it looks more like watercolor. But it is acrylic. And it's it's loose and you know you can still see brush strokes on here very easily. I, I managed to stop myself before I got in there and started messing with the eyes. Most of these were done with one one brush. I have a round, um, I believe it's a four. Here, let me grab it real quick. This is a Rosemary & Co. Ivory Long Flat. And it's maybe half an inch, just a fat, flat bristle. And then this round one I use, this is a, a 18 Master's Touch. And it's, it's holding up pretty well. But I've been using these two to do most of these. This one was done on the 26th. I don't know if I mentioned that. And then there was this one. This one I did, and I got it to a point. I liked it. And I, thought I had that moment where it was like, oh, I really like this. Let me just get this one more thing. And before I knew it, I'd ruined it. So I painted over the whole thing. And in hopes that I could go back and recapture what I had lost by redoing it. But I, I never did. It's not. So that's what I've been up to the last month, primarily. And what I'm going to continue to do, I like the looseness of this. See, I'm thinking, I'm thinking too of what I'm going to work on today. I have paper already prepped to do some things. I have a, a still life set up with some flowers. I figured out the day of the week to go and get flowers from Walmart. I see there's something about that I really, really like. Oh, I put those in order, didn't I? I may do some of these quick studies of in oil pastel. I believe I need to. The acrylic paints, I'm, I'm still getting used to. I haven't used, I don't use them a lot. I tend to use oils. But because I was getting back into my groove and, and figuring out what I wanted to do, I decided to use acrylics. You would think I would use oil pastels or something I'm more familiar with, but Who knows? Who knows why I thought so. So anyway, that's what's been going on here. I'm going to keep working on these. I may do a painting demo if there's enough, a live demo, if there's enough people that want it. And I look forward to seeing you all and growing, hopefully, in our artistic pursuits. This is closer to what I want to be leaving behind than... than the previous really tight work that I have created. So you'll be seeing more of this type of work in the, in the months to come. So there we go. All right, thank you for being here. I appreciate you sticking around this long. And if you have stuck around this long, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. Take care and be safe. Mwah.